Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. So today's question will be looking at, are they still interested in you? Or are they interested full stop? So this could be about a crush, it could be about an ex-partner, someone you've been on and off with, it could be about anybody of your choosing, but I am gonna be brutally honest with my answers. So if you don't like brutal honesty, then this might not be the reading for you. So just putting out that disclaimer, this isn't gonna be your sunshine and rainbows today. So just making you aware of that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We have group one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So go ahead and make your choice. Feel free to pause the video here, take a few moments to meditate, get nice and relaxed, make sure you're alone and you won't be disturbed. And then once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the timestamps for your chosen pile. Okay, so let's get started with group number one. Okay, so group number one, let's see, what is your first card? Okay, so we have the fates. So your connection is certainly guided by destiny. You two were meant to meet each other, we'll have some kind of contact. Okay, so let's see what the Moonology deck has to say. Are they still interested or are they interested in you? Full stop, group one. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So you could be either of these signs, they could be too. Remember to check your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hermit in reverse, card of Virgo. Okay, eight of wands in reverse. The world in reverse. Lots of major arcanas here. This is definitely an intense and meant to be connection one way or the other. Okay, so daughter and we have mother of pentacles both in reverse. So this could be a female female connection. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be though. But there is a lot of feminine energy coming through from this reading. So this, yeah, this generally could be female, female. But of course, if it's female, male, the male may be more in touch with their feminine side or maybe they're surrounded more with women. Maybe they work well with women or they surround themselves with women. You know, if you're the man watching this, you might have an affinity for women. <laughs> but it's definitely a lot of feminine energy here. So I do feel like your person wants to talk to you. I feel maybe you've been, you've not been in communication for a while or not at all. So it's like they want to, they do want to revive this and bring this out of darkness. So I don't feel like this person is necessarily done here or this person isn't interested. I would say this person does have a level of interest in you group one, but how strong that is, I'm not too sure being honest with you. It does feel like I said, it's fated. This was meant to be in some way, destiny. But the fact that we have both of these earth cards here, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, both in reverse on either end, it's almost like neither of you, I feel like it's kind of a stalemate situation. Neither of you are willing to actually reach out to the other or give each other time. I feel like your person has almost given up here, has given up, has given up the fight for you. But at the same time, they do want to come back in. They do want to revive this in some way. So yeah, a little bit of a mixed message coming through here for group one. So let's see what else we have here. Group one, are they still interested? And I would say they're interested. If we're talking like, have they lost all interest? No, no, especially with that hermit reversed. No, they, they don't want this to be in the dark anymore. So they are interested. But there's something, it's like there's no action being taken. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Now I'm starting to lose my voice here. 
<clears throat> so I am getting some throat chakra vibes for this pile. <laughs> but neither of you are opening up and expressing your feelings and your true desires for one another. So exchange energy to create abundance. Okay. Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Okay, so yeah, this person is staying away from you right now, <clears throat> I feel. They are trying to protect, protect their energy. They're trying to protect their heart, I'm sensing. It's like they are holding themselves away right now. And they are trying to stay away from you, just being fully honest. I feel like they're trying to protect themselves from your energy. Because there's something very negative about your connection, even though it's very strong, it's intense, but it's like you have these intense highs and then these intense lows. And it's important that you look at the bigger picture of things instead of, I feel you're both kind of zoning in on the minute details of one another and your connection. And you're not really focusing on the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things. It just feels very nitpicky, this energy. Okay, and they are feeling that there is something that's just not quite right about this. And they feel that things aren't really balanced right now and aren't really fair. Whether they feel that you weren't fair with them or they aren't fair with you and they're not able to give you the time and energy that you need and desire. But again, it seems kind of mutual here. You both seem to be in a similar mindset, but at the same time, you still want their attention is what I'm hearing. You still want to know that they still like you, that they're still into you. And I do feel they are, they are still into you, but it's like at this moment, they've had to hold themselves up because, you know, with this negative energy that's coming through, it's like they don't want to take that on. So they may be thinking that you're in a negative space right now, but it also could mean they are in a negative space. But either way, it's not looking you know, overly positive. So I'm just going to look at these finally for you. Are they still interested or are they interested at all? Speak your truth. Absolutely. There we go. Throat chakra. Okay. Success. Money is coming. Okay, so there may be success in this relationship if you are honest. That's the overwhelming message here is that there needs to be more transparency in your connection. There needs to be some honesty. If you don't know this person, if this is somebody completely new or you've not had any interaction with, it's like they're not fully able to see you yet. And, that's, and that is what I'm feeling. If you are someone that's just admiring someone or you have a crush on someone, I get the sense that almost like they just haven't seen you. They haven't, you haven't come into their vision yet. You haven't come into their eye line or they just haven't noticed you, but I do feel like they will. And when they do, they're going to want to be honest about that. And so I feel like you both need to do that. You both need to be honest. If they do approach you or you do decide to reach out, then make sure that you are not holding back because that's the overwhelming message is to speak your truth. Again, I'm starting to lose my voice here. Um, your person may be quite wealthy. They may be very successful. This could be your success as well. But there's something to do with money in this relationship. So maybe it's somebody at work that you might have a crush on. Or this even could be someone that you're working with in business. Or it's somebody that you just admire. Maybe you admire their ambition, their competitive drive, their success. So for those of you who don't know this person, just to clarify, I do feel like they haven't necessarily noticed you yet, or it's almost like they're so involved in their other things, their work life. Uh, they may be wrapped up in something quite negative right now where they're not able to see you, but they are going to see you because this is fated and it's meant to happen. If this is somebody that you've been on and off with or an ex-partner, then Again, they are still thinking about you. They are still interested, but at the moment they need to take themselves away and they need to focus on themselves. And, but I do feel like they're going to come out of the dark. Okay, thank you so much for watching group one. I do hope that this resonated for you. And if it did, please let me know down in the comments below. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. Okay, take care group one. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number two, let's see, are they interested or are they still interested in you? TikTok. TikTok, and we have the number three there. So the number three may resonate for you in some way. 
Three is always a very lucky number. So there could be something quite lucky about this connection. But the fact that we have TikTok is showing either the, the time is running out <laughs> or there's a need for patience here. But I will get some more clarity about this situation. So is this person still interested or are they interested whatsoever in you, group two? Okay, so we have faith in your have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So I do feel you are gonna have the answers to this question in your life. It's gonna come in very soon. I can feel that. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. I'll take those. So we have elder. Oh, we have three here. We have elder, drum, dream and journey, and then water guardian, connect with your emotions. Okay, so your person may be older than you. You might be older than them, but I'm getting more the sense that it's them that is older than you in some way. I am feeling that you may not have met this person yet. I will look at both whether this is somebody you have connected with or not when I uh, pull the tarot cards, but my immediate feeling here is that you haven't met them yet because there's a lot of <clears throat> fantasy, I feel like, in this reading. So you may have been fantasizing about being with them, dreaming about being with them, connecting with them in the dreamscape, but you definitely have a lot of emotion for this person. And I'm also getting the sense that maybe you have chosen this person, maybe this is somebody similar that you've been with before, and it's like a cycle, it's like repeating a pattern. So for some of you, this could be a past relationship that has gone in a cycle that seems to go round and round. Okay, so let me see, is the person still interested or are they interested full stop? Let's see. How weird, this one came out in the last reading, seven of wands, uh, sorry, eight of wands in reverse. The Fool. Son of Pentacles. Oh my. So many jumped out there. And Okay, Five of Pentacles. Now, this card did just jump. I wasn't going to use these cards today, but I'm going to use this for you, Group 2, because there's a reason. Okay, and I just saw pregnancy here in this card. I don't know why she doesn't look pregnant there, but pregnancy just came in. So for some of you, you may be pregnant. You may even have children with this person or there's some connection to children for some of you, I'm feeling. So a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So the fact that that one jumped out... And they said they're thinking of you at this very moment. I feel at this moment that you're watching this reading, they are thinking about you. So it's like you two are lining up telepathically at this very moment. Crazy, crazy. So are they interested in you? Yes. Whether they're past, whether they're future, this person is definitely interested in you. But there is pain here. There is rejection. So you could have rejected them. They may have rejected you. But this is definitely a feeling of feeling left out in the cold. It can also be financial issues, health issues too. But I'm getting more the sense it's like a loneliness, a rejection. But with the full card there, they do want a fresh start with you. Either a brand new start, a brand new beginning if you have connected before. Or they do want to come together with you. I do feel that. But something here has failed for them. And it seems to be very up and down because they feel they feel down. Then they feel like they want to start again. They've got this fresh energy. Then they feel like giving up. Then they feel like reaching out. <laughs> then they feel like things are failing. So there's definitely a lot of back and forth with this energy group too. You know, this isn't going to be a straightforward answer, I feel. I mean, in regards to are they interested, I would say yes, but are they going to take action? Well, that is up for debate. I think it depends on the mood that they're in, quite honestly. And of course, this is a timeless reading. So remember, this is the energy that they're feeling at this very moment. You know, this, of course, can change. But at the moment, it seems like it is very up and down, up and down. And there's a reason why this TikTok came out initially is 
Oh, even maybe there's something to do with TikTok, the app as well. I didn't even think of that. So I don't know whether any of you use TikTok or you're looking at this person on TikTok, you're stalking their top TikTok account or or they like TikTok or you do. So I'm just going to put that out there for those of you because it, it, there's a reason that that came out for some of you. But over, overwhelmingly, I feel this is more about just having patience with this person because it's not moving anywhere fast. It is going to take some time, but the answers are within reach. And that is the wonderful thing about this. So you are going to know one way or the other. And I feel like you're going to get that from this person. I do see them reaching out to you. I see them uh, giving you a message, a DM, maybe even a phone call. Or so some of you, this might even be a gift. Okay. So let's see what else we have finally for you. children yeah okay move forwards release envy so this may be something as well that you're dealing with maybe your person is with someone else maybe they have children together and maybe you're feeling kind of jealous of that again just being honest don't shoot the messenger here okay this could also be their energy. If you're the one that looks all very happy and lovey-dovey and putting across this lovely image on social media with you and your kids, then this person might be feeling envious. So whoever is the one that's putting across that really happy family image, I feel the other one is not feeling so good about that. But this does show that this is going to move forward. So where this is right now, it is not going to stick. This is not sticking the way that it is. It seems to be very malleable at this time. So I do feel that it could go one way or the other between you. So it's kind of on that tender hooks where, yeah, it could move forwards. But this also may be some bone of contention between you, children, you know, if this is somebody that you have connected with before, maybe you want children and maybe they don't or vice versa. There could have been some discussion or maybe you feel like your clock is running out, your biological clock. Maybe you feel like you need to have children and you don't want to wait around for this person if they're not going to give you what you want. Like I'm also getting the sense like someone's uh, is saying, I don't want to be a single parent. I don't want to be a single parent. So some, one of you may even be pregnant at this very moment and you could be in an on-off situation with that person and yet you might be kind of saying, I don't want to be on my own and raise this, raise my child on my own. And But yeah, it's definitely a sense of, oh, I just need to have children now. I'm getting older and this is the time and I don't want to mess around with this person if they're not going to give me what I want. So just remember that you have the power and the ability to make your dreams come true. And if the person is not giving you what you want, then it's time to move on and move forwards. Move forwards, either away from this person or towards this person. But one way or the other, I do feel within the next 30 days that you're going to have your answer. Okay, but is your person interested? Yes, your person is interested, but whether you can have something long term and stable is up for debate. I do have lots of other pick a card readings, so you can always look at those if you need more clarity. I will be doing some more, um, quite a lot more now coming into lockdown now in the UK. So uh, just keep an eye out, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can be the first one to see when I do uh, post a new video. Okay, so let me know down in the comments below if this did resonate for you and please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this today. Okay, take care, group two. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number three, is your person interested or are they still interested in you? Okay, so we have the card breathe and the number 29. So your person may be in a place, I think that they're thinking, they're in a deep place, no. Oh, bees. So your person is thinking quite deeply right now. They may be someone that is into meditation, spiritual things, yoga. But either way, I feel like this person either needs a breather from this situation or they're just taking some time out for themselves. They're trying to feel relaxed in a world full of chaos. Okay. So let's see. What else can we see? Is your person still interested or interested full stop in you, group three?
Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Ooh, okay, Lords take charge with authority. Star ancestor, follow the voice within your soul. So now I'm getting a lot of masculine energy in this reading. This could be a male-male relationship, but either way, I feel either maybe your person is surrounded by men. They might work in a male-dominated place or they, they have a lot of male friends. So it doesn't matter whether they're female or they're male, but I see a lot of men surrounding them here. Maybe they have a lot of brothers or... They, they work in a male-dominated industry, is just what I'm feeling here. I do feel like your person is interested, okay? Your person is interested. They, there's something kind of intense. They have a very intense gaze. And the fact that we have these three men and they've got very similar color hair. So I don't know if they have this kind of light brown slightly blonde or golden hair or this sort of rich brown mahogany brown hair or even very very dark hair as well one of you may be they may be too but that's I've never had these two cards come out together and I didn't realize how similar both of them look so the fact that they've both come out and then even to have him I mean there's a lot of feminine energy in that deck so the fact that all three of these cards came out also shows that they're tapping into their masculine energy, their yang energy, which is all about taking action. Okay, so this is what I feel is going on here. Like they do wanna take action towards you, but at the moment they're just taking a breather. So they may have needed space from you. They, you may have asked for space from them. They may have asked of it from you, but they are taking some time to just think about things. They're not quite sure what they want. They are feeling afraid of something. They may have been challenged or triggered. You may have triggered something off in them, some old wounds or some past insecurities. I'm definitely seeing that they're not quite sure. They may be worried that you're going to reject them or maybe that you already have rejected them. They are scared about that. Show the world the real you. So maybe they're, they're fearing that you won't like the real them. They may feel like, oh, you just like me for the way that I appear, but will you like the real me on the inside, on a deeper level? Will you actually care and like me is what I'm hearing. Okay, so that could be their energy. It could also be your energy. So reverse it if it makes more sense for you. But the energy is gaining momentum. This is picking up a pace. Okay, so where it's in this place of nothing's happening right now, there's no contact I'm feeling. You're needing space between each other, um, from each other but it is gonna start moving forwards. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say about this group three. Okay, so we have Father of Cups in reverse, again, more male energy. Okay, then we have the Six of Wands. And I'm seeing blue or green eyes here. Daughter of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands. Wow, okay. So maybe you two have had some arguments lately. Okay, so either you guys have had arguments, but if this isn't you arguing with them, they are going through some arguments and some conflicts with other people right now. So that could be stopping them from reaching out to you. Because I do feel they may have a lot of responsibilities in their work or in their home life, you know, especially with all of this very dominating energy, they do have authority in some way. So they may even be, I don't know, a teacher, a boss, they may own their own company, but I feel like they are in charge of others in some way. You know, a supervisor, um, somebody that people look up to. They're not a follower, they are a leader, this person. But there's something that's going on here that is causing them distress and it's causing them to feel angry. There is anger coming through here as well. 
and I do feel like they may be seeking attention from others. Like I said, this is going to be a brutally honest reading. So if you don't like it, then, well, it is what it is. But I'd rather be honest because otherwise it's not going to serve you, is it? So I do feel like they are seeking attention from others right now. They needed some space from you. Father of Cups and Daughter of Cups. So for some of you, there may be somebody younger in their energy. This, you know, If it's a woman, it could be a younger woman. Um, but it could also be a daughter or a younger female. You could be that younger female. They could be the younger female if you're male and watching about a female. But I am seeing like a difference in age. Like somebody is certainly more mature. Whether that's in chronological age or whether this is in maturity levels, I do have the energy of someone being a little bit younger. But I do feel at the moment that they're just not willing to give to this emotionally. They're not willing to open up in that way. It's like they're so focused and driven in their career and they are dreaming about you. I do feel like they haven't forgotten about you if you're wondering that or if they're still interested. There is a level of interest with them, but at the moment, it's not an emotional interest. So if they did feel emotions for you before, they're not dealing with it right now. If you've never experienced something with this person, if this is just a crush or someone that you've had your eye on, um, they, they haven't developed those feelings for you at this moment. So this is timeless. So whenever you watch this is when it is meant for you and it's what's going on right now, but the energy changes. So, you know, I don't want you to get disheartened. Of course, the energy could change, but I've got to tell you straight up as it is. This is a brutally honest reading right now. They do not have those emotional feelings for you or they are pushing them down and they're not acknowledging them. Okay. So just get, oh my, okay, I'm going to take this one because it fell on here, okay. So we do have the fifth house, which is the fifth astrological house, which I will explain in just a mo. Okay. Ooh. Okay, be silent. New beginning, okay. So... The fifth house represents, uh, it's the house of Leo. I like to call it the house of fun. Uh, welcome to the house of fun. I'm hearing that song and I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know that song. So maybe at the moment they might just want fun with you. Okay, that is a sign. I do feel that they might just want some fun. They're not looking for anything serious. You know, I don't see long-term commitment with this person or this is not something that they're thinking about right now. So I have to put it out there. If that is what you're wanting from this person, it's a no. It is a no, I'm afraid, group three. They do, they just want some fun because they've got too much stress going on in their lives and they're trying to zen out. They're trying to feel relaxed and they know they can't give you what you want and what you need, okay? And whether they're afraid of also... Um, you not liking the real them or whether that's your energy. I just feel that at the moment you need to be silent. Okay, because they're being silent. I feel like this situation is being silent. And unless you're 100% okay with just having some lighthearted fun, then I think this relationship or this person isn't for you. And you can kid yourself and say, oh, well, I, I, that's all I want too. I only want fun. But I feel like who I'm talking to here and someone specifically, you know, it's not just fun. Deep down, you know that it's not what you want. And you may be thinking, if I just have fun with them, then maybe they'll change their mind and they'll want to be with me. Like, no, if they tell you at the outset that that's what they want, then that's what they want. They're being transparent with you. OK, and if they haven't told you that, well, that's not your fault. But at the same time, you have to go by how they're treating you. And if they're being silent with you, it's time to move on anyway. I just feel like that at the moment, group. Three, you need to live your own life and start a new beginning for yourself, okay? Leave this person behind because if they're meant for you, they will come back in and they'll want to give you what you really want and need. If they're not, just let them free. Set them free, sis, okay? Let them go. Okay, so I'm going to leave the reading there. Thank you so much for watching Group 3. I hope it did resonate for you. And if it did, please leave a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. Okay, take care, Group 3. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number four, are they interested or are they still interested in you? Let's see. Whoop. Come to the edge, 36. I mean, just look at that picture though. Look at this person almost trying to run away, but still looking back. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what that means. Okay. Are they still interested or are they interested at all? Because I'm going to be looking at whether this person is an ex or whether this is somebody you have a crush on. 
are they interested or still interested in you? What do you want to release? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my throat is really going today. So there's some throat, throat chakra stuff going on in this reading, I feel, for sure. Not being honest and speaking your truth. Okay. A new start is coming, new moon. Interesting. I'm even seeing in the colours in this reading, we've got lots of blues. So again, which is the colour of the heart chakra, sorry, the throat chakra. Maybe the heart chakra is activating for some of you in this reading, the fact that it just jumped out of my mouth there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but honestly, my voice was fine before I started doing this reading. And the second I started doing this is when I'm going all croaky. So there's definitely something in that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, heart guardian. What did I just say? Heart chakra, there we go. Love and let yourself be loved. Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. I feel like that one wants to come out. Dest uh, sorry, Direction Guardian, choose your path. This card almost never, ever comes out. Love it, though. So I'm getting a strong animal sense. So maybe your person really loves animals. Maybe they work with animals. This could also be your energy as well. But I do get the sense that your person is very caring and kind and they're connected to their feminine side and they're connected to their animal side as well or their animal spirit. There's something there in connection with nature. Uh, maybe they're very just loving with their pets. Maybe they're too focused on their pets and not focused enough on you. But there's definitely some connection with the animal kingdom for your person and maybe for you too. So I feel like maybe your person might be dealing with someone else right now that's being totally honest. What do you need to release? They've got to release something. So this could be a person for some of you, but it could also be this negative energy that they've accumulated. You know, there could be, <clears throat> excuse me, there could have been some negative judgment. But I do feel this is very much about what's going on with them. Like this person might be quite narcissistic, just came through as well. And I'm not trying to bash this person whatsoever. Um, because they are very connected to animals, but I feel they struggle sometimes with people. They may be a bit of a hermit. They struggle to connect with people in a way. And maybe they spend a lot of time looking in the mirror. That's where that narcissism vibe came through. So we all have narcissism within us. And that's the thing is this is not, I don't like to label anybody as a narcissist. Uh, well, I'm certainly not qualified to do so, but most people are not qualified when they do say this, but people can exhibit lots of narcissistic traits or more than others. And I feel maybe this person does exhibit slightly more than others. And it's no fault of their own necessarily. It's almost like they've spent, they spend so much time at home or a lot of time looking in the mirror. They spend a lot of time on their appearance, sometimes maybe too much. And what's going on with them is reflecting back on the outside. It is reflecting back in you. So you may even be that kind of person, uh, maybe someone that is very um, driven by their looks, you know, sometimes needing to pull themselves away from the mirror and to focus on what's going on on the inside and not what's on the outside. And that's also something I'm hearing as well, that almost like your person is using the external to shadow what's going on inside, to distract themselves from the real issue or the, the real feelings that they have. They're not really focused so much on that. Um, and I'm getting, there's a lot of long hair in this reading. So I feel like either your person has very long or curly hair, or thick hair, red hair even. We've got all the different colors of hair, blonde, red, brunette. So maybe they have a mixture of colors or maybe one of you has the, this, this type of hair, but hair is clearly very strong in this reading, um, which also brings to like fur as well, like furry animals. Maybe they like to like wear like a furry coat, faux, I hope. Uh, maybe they have furry blankets around them. They just, I feel like this person likes to be comfortable. They like to be surrounded by luxury. So I'm getting Taurus vibes now coming through. Yeah, strong Taurian vibes, maybe even Libran vibes here, both ruled by the planet of Venus, which is all about beauty, love, romance, and things looking good. So they may have some strong traits or, you know, their sun, moon, rising, Venus, maybe in Libra or Taurus. But I'm also getting Pisces as well with this strong connection to animals here. But again, they could be any sign. So let's see now what the tarot has to say about this. Okay. 
Are they still interested in you, a group four? Oof, okay, Ten of Swords. Father of Swords. Oh, I love Tarot. <laughs> it can all look very sort of positive and lovely and then Tarot, but Tarot will be honest and will be truthful and will say it straight up. Doesn't sugarcoat anything, justice. Okay, card of Libra. We do have lots of air, Aquarius and Libra, Gemini. Okay, right, here we go, group four. Just gonna be totally bang on honest with you right now. Yeah, this person, this person is, is not gonna be able to give you anything right now. They're not. They're feeling very down. I see some depression here, okay? I see fe a feeling of being defeated, okay? I see coldness. It's like they've either cut you off or they're going to be very cold with you. It's like everything has just gone cold on them. But also there's something devious here about this energy with the Seven of Swords. So they may have been lying to you about something. They may have been deceptive, okay? Again, if you don't like this, it is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. And especially what's come through here, it's this isn't looking overly positive, except for the justice card. I feel like that's karmic justice is going to be restored in this connection. So it is all going to be the way that it's meant to be. That's what I'm hearing. Like with this person, I feel... <clears throat> I feel there is a divine reason why this person is giving up and they're not giving you their time. They're not making you a priority here. They're not giving you what you need. And, you know, they, it's like they, I just hear they pull the wall over your eyes. So you may feel like you've been duped by them. Maybe they weren't honest with you in about what they wanted from you or from this connection. So if this is somebody that you have been dealing with, and I'm getting that quite strongly here, somebody that you have connected with, and I feel at this moment, they're not interested in starting anything with you, okay? And that is just the honest truth. They're not. If this is somebody that is new, or somebody that you have had a crush on, or that you've had a level of interest in, I feel at this moment, they haven't even seen you. They're not, they're not paying attention to you because they've got so much going on, okay? They're just, they don't have the space for you in their life right now. And this is making sense now it's like they just want to run they want to run they want to escape they want to focus on themselves they want to focus on their own appearance or their own reflection they want to focus on their animals okay but they need to focus on their hearts and that's something that's coming through strongly but at the moment they're so up in their own heads they can't see through that they can't see through it at all okay what else can you tell me group number four that wants to come out. Trust the process. Absolutely. Almost there. Okay, we had two just jump out there. So we have the ninth house and then we have moving. Okay, so the ninth house in astrology means it's, well, it's ruled by Jupiter and Sagittarius. So your person could be Sagittarius. You could be as well. Yeah, they could be teaching. One of you could be a teacher. But this is, it's all about higher learning, okay? High learning or even travel as well, long distance travel. Maybe your person has been away from you for a long time or maybe you just, you don't live close to each other. Maybe this is an online situation you've not met yet, but this person lives quite far away. Moving, you could be moving right now. They also might be moving. That might be the stress that they're under. They could be going, they could be having a lot going on for them and they just don't have time to be even be considering you in their life at this moment because they've got to focus on moving. Whether, and that could be physically moving locationally, but this can also be moving their mindset. Okay, trust the process. So I do see the positive here with this justice card. The fact that it's in the upright shows that this is going to be a positive outcome for you. So there's a reason, trust that there is a reason this person is not with you right now. You are not meant to be with this person, whether that's right now or in the future. Again, I'm just going to say it like it is. So you don't waste your time. Don't waste your time on this person. If they are meant for you, they will come back in. But do not chase this person. I do feel like you need to let go. And you're very close. You're very close to be able to letting them go and to moving on. And for a new beginning to come in for you. I do see that. So either, I think regardless, whether you want this person or you don't, you still need to let them go. 
You need to let them go because they don't have the space for you right now. And if you are desperately trying to cling on to them, you're just gonna push th this person further away. So it'll be in your favor to let them go regardless. Set them free. If they come back to you, they're yours. If they don't, they never were. Okay, thanks so much for watching Group 4. I do hope that this resonated for you. And if it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below as to how it did resonate. Okay, take care Group 4. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number five, let's see, is your person interested or still interested in you? Okay, so we have building blocks and the number 28. Hmm, okay. Let's see. So I'm looking at whether this is a crush, someone that you haven't yet connected with. This could also be an ex or an on-off situation. But let's see, is your person still interested in you right now? And remember, this reading is timeless. So when you choose to watch it is when it's meant for you. But the energy does change. Always. It's always in a state of flux. So things may change for you. But I am going to give you the brutally honest truth as to whether they're interested right now. Okay. She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. Lords take charge with authority. Okay. This one did come out in one of the other readings. But this doesn't seem to be following the same pattern. But let's see. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Oh, okay, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Wow, okay. So I'm going to pull the tarot cards in a moment, which will give us that real brutal honesty about whether this person is interested or not. But there's something going on here with this South Node, which is drawing me in the most. South Node is all about past karma, old wounds, past hurt, old insecurities and triggers that are holding you back from moving forwards or holding this person back. So there is something where they are refraining. I see them with this intense gaze. <laughs> like maybe they have a very intense, they have very intense eyes, or maybe you both hold really intense eye contact with one another if you do, if you have actually met this person. Like this person has a very intense gaze. So if you have, if this isn't just an online connection, I feel like, or even if it is, if you've seen their picture, there's something about their eyes that draws you in. Okay, it is. It's very intense. I feel like they keep a lot of stuff inside. Like they have this wild side to them. They have an edge, but they don't let a lot of people see that. And I don't feel like they're letting you see that right now. So before I say any more, let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, Father of Cups in reverse. Four of Swords, reverse two. Hmm, Six of Cups, reverse. The Fool. Oh, okay. Two of Cups. Okay, so being brutally honest here, there does seem like there's something going on here. Like they have either gone through a split with someone else, okay, and you'll know this, I feel maybe they have recently split with somebody else but this does show a split one way or the other so for those of you who have been with this person i do feel like this is a split here like you've been together and you are now apart if this is somebody that you've just been crushing on or you've had your eye on i get more the sense that this person may have 
just ended something with someone else or this is something that they're currently going through right now. I will say I don't feel like emotionally they're there yet or emotionally they're not willing to give to this. They haven't opened their hearts to you. If this is a crush or this is someone that you haven't really strongly connected with yet, yeah, this person hasn't developed those feelings right now. It doesn't mean that they won't, but at this moment they haven't developed those loving feelings. And if this is somebody that you do know and you have been on and off with, this person is either, they're not very good at expressing their emotions and their feelings, but I just feel like at the moment they're not listening or they're not paying attention and they're not focusing on that. They're just not interested right now. However, it does seem, it's a little flip floppy. I will say that. There's a lot of mental stress here, but then this shows some kind of emotional reconciliation. Okay, so for those of you who have been with somebody, I do feel like there will be a reconcile, there'll be a new beginning, but just to warn you here, I just don't feel like these, this person has the same level of emotion for you that they do, that you do for them. There is, an, there is, this is not balanced here at all. I feel like your person maybe is more practical and logical just as a person. Maybe somebody that thinks more with the logical and rational side of their brain rather than the creative side or you know their intuitive side so there's somebody that maybe writes a lot of lists or they're very what's the, um organized getting strong virgo energy come through here as well but there's somebody who takes their time um also capricorn here is coming through too but they work very hard we do have aries as well i will just say they take their time, they make the steps, they're not somebody that jumps into things very easily. And if they do, this is where I almost feel like it might have gone wrong for them and for you. It's like, they're not used to doing that. But when they decide to jump into it, they realize that it's just not right. And this is when they can then back off away from you. Okay, so I will just say be careful with this person here. Just be careful because I do feel like you could come together, but they just may not have the same level of love for you that you do for them. Okay, and I do see this changing. Expect a powerful change with that new moon eclipse. It, that is such a powerful and intense energy. So where this is right now, it is not going to be there for much longer. Okay, it is going to transform one way or the other. So I'm just going to get one more clarifying card for that, actually. Group five. Even the fact, actually, that you chose the number five. Five represents a change. So where this is, it will no longer be. The Hermit. Okay. Hermit in reverse. So it is the card of, that is the card of Virgo. We do have all the signs here because we've got lots of cups, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We don't have, oh, we do have fire. We do have Aries here as well. So we do have quite a balance here. Um, not as many pentacles, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of earth energy regardless. So if you haven't been speaking to your person lately, if you've been out of communication, that's going to end soon. So that's where I feel like a powerful change. If you've been in a place where nothing's happening, that's what's going to be happening here. I do feel like they're going to reach out or you're going to have some kind of reconciliation, communication. This relationship is going to transform and it's going to be a new start. Like I said, just be careful uh, when it comes to their emotional side, okay? So if this is somebody brand new here or somebody that you haven't strongly connected with but you've had your eye on, I feel like they're going to start to notice you. They haven't noticed you yet or they haven't been paying you any attention but I do feel like because this is going to transform and there's going to be action taken towards this, this person is going to start to notice you, okay? So let's see, lastly, what my little messages have to say about this. Okay, so we have the 12th house. This is the 12th astrological house. It is the house of Pisces. Welcome this ending. And then we have the ninth house, house of Sagittarius, and then we have almost there. Okay. So for some of you, you may even be with somebody else right now. You might have another partner and you have your eye on someone else. So you may be splitting up with someone. Okay. This could also be their energy. Like I said in the very beginning, this person may have just split up with someone. And I just feel whatever is ending right now, it's going to be a welcomed ending, okay? And it's very close to being over. I feel there's going to be a lot of patience that is needed here in this connection. And with the 12th house here, this is all about the unconscious. What is not seen, what is not heard, what has not come to conscious reality yet. Uh, but this can also mean maybe you meet this person, you might work in a prison 
or a hospital or something where someone feels like isolated. Maybe you meet in isolation. It can also mean meeting someone um, in secret, you know, when you're not supposed to. So there could be this element of secrecy, secrecy and mystery to your connection in some way. I'd love to know if that makes sense for you. Let me know down in the comments. Um, the, with the ninth house, that could is that is almost the opposite, not quite the opposite, but that is uh, long distance travel. So meeting someone either on a holiday or from a, a, a far away place or someone from a different ethnic background or they have different religious beliefs, but also this person may be very spiritual and maybe they could also be a teacher, um, but they're very interested in higher learning. And almost that's where I see this is transforming, whereas it's been in this 12th house energy, very hidden. Uh, and then I feel like it's going to come out <laughs> of this hidden place and out into the sunshine. So maybe you two decide to meet up or go for a walk in the sun. Maybe you two end up planning a holiday or something. Maybe this person is teaching you something or maybe you are learning something from this person. Yeah, there's something going on there. Um, this is definitely, I would say, the most, I want to say complicated of all the readings. It's not the clearest answer. Like the person is interested, that's for sure. Okay, so... If that's what you wanted to know, yes, this person is interested. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of mixed messages. Um, and I feel like this, it just seems to be a bit of a complicated energy. So I, yeah, I just find that interesting. I've been as brutally honest as I can be about this, but like I said, it is what it is. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if this did resonate for you and please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this today. Okay. Take care, group five. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number six, let's see, is your person interested or still interested in you? And just remember, this is a reading either for someone that you have your eye on, someone that you have a crush on, or someone you've been in an on and off situation. And also that this is a timeless reading and the energy flows and changes all the time. So this is how they feel and wh whether they're interested in you at this very moment. But again, that can change. I'm just letting you know that. So we have, oh, okay, we have why and the, and the number 31. So they may be asking that th themselves that question right now, why? You may be asking yourself that question, but that shows some confusion, okay? So let's see, is your person still interested or interested at all in you? So that was way too many that jumped out. Okay, let's see, is your person interested or still interested in you? Group six, autumn, release old and rest. White Witch, Be the Light. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. Look at all this beautiful orange. Look at all the orange that has come out in this reading. So orange represents the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is all about emotions, creativity and sexuality. So there may be an intense sexual connection or an emotional connection that you naturally feel when you're with this person or when you look at this person, there is something there that is drawing you in, for sure. And especially with the black, and we've got the black against the orange as well. So maybe you have black hair, maybe your favorite color is orange, maybe theirs is. I also see blonde hair too. Um, I don't know why, but hair is coming through a lot. Like hair is, seems to be on the forefront of this reading. I don't know why when talking about character traits. It's not something I was necessarily looking at, but it seems to be something that's coming to the forefront today. I don't know why. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm just going to see what the Moonology has to say. Is your person interested or still interested in you? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Love that, because we had the South Node come out in the last one. So this shows that your connection is destined. Like you were meant to meet this person, whether you are meant to connect on a deeper level or not, I feel like this person was supposed to come into your life in some way, like it was written in the stars before you were born. Okay, and then we have an, a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. So one of you may be a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So you could be an Aquarius as well, or they could be. They could be any sign. 
oh my god aquarius again bring love into this situation so yes yeah, strong aquarian vibes coming through so I'd be surprised if one or both of you doesn't have some Aquarius traits. But what this can also mean is a sense of rebellion. The way in which you meet could be a rebellious energy. Something that's slightly unconventional. You may meet, maybe you met in somewhere a little bit kooky or, yeah, slightly, slightly to the left. I don't know why I said that slightly to the left. But there's something there where maybe you're even wanting to start a revolution, Okay, for some of you, that's what I'm hearing here, but especially with all of this very dominant Aquarius energy, yes, but there is also a sense of emotional detachment with that Aquarius energy. Aquarius being an air sign, they can be the, the very best at putting their emotions away and moving on, you know, floating with the wind, blowing with the wind. So that could be both of your energy because it seems almost like there's a mirroring here like you're both kind of in that similar energy but you also both have very similar interests is what i'm feeling you're both either into the same thing fighting for the same cause but with a time to give rather than take so there's something that is off balance here between you but i am getting such strong spiritual vibes this is definitely the most spiritual of all of the readings i've done today Absolutely. So I don't know whether someone is into the spiritual side of things, into witchcraft, the occult, tarot, astrology, manifestation. There is something here where either both of you are very into that side of things or one of you is um, with the owl image as well. I feel like your person is very wise. And I also feel like that's reflected back to you. You're both wise people. I feel like you've both been through a lot on, on separate levels, okay? So I just want to see them. Is your person interested in you? The tarot will give us those real blunt, honest answers though. Let's, so let's see. Is your person interested or still interested in you, group six? Okay, so we have the nine of cups in reverse. Ace of Wands reversed. Hmm. Father of Wands in the upright. Six of Wands. Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so this is pretty up and down. It's like almost maybe your person likes to receive attention or maybe they get a lot of attention from other people, whether that's because of their looks, they may receive a lot of attention, but it could also be again within their work. There's somebody again who feels quite rebellious and that does their own thing. Maybe they're very vocal in their beliefs, you know, maybe through social media or in active groups or something like that. I feel like this person wants to fight for the greater good and whatever it is that they're doing, is they are, they're, it's like they're trying to do something that's pretty big here is what I'm feeling. So being honest with you here, group six, being brutally honest, I feel this person isn't ready to give you anything. Yeah, it's like they're not willing to give you their love. They're not willing to open up. They're not willing to even feel that at this moment. It's like they've put the fire out. So if this is, I just feel actually either way, whether this is a crush or is, this is someone that you've been in an on and off situation with, I feel at this very moment that they're just not willing to give to this or there was a level of interest there. Maybe they've enjoyed giving you attention or receiving attention from you, but something's happened here where they've gone, I can't deal with this anymore. I, I have to put it, I have to close it down. Um, I just can't do it. But then we do have the kid, the father of wands king of wands whatever you like so this person here is very confident passionate but i feel this is more about passionate about their career goals or about their beliefs like what they're doing in the world the good that they're doing like humanitarian efforts just came through to me then as well so they may be trying to fight for something fight for their beliefs fight for a better world yeah and then there's a sense of deception here but i feel like this is almost self-deception I feel like this person has an admiration for you. I feel like they definitely have noticed you. So if, you're, if, you're, if this is a crush and you're thinking, have they even noticed me? Yes, they have noticed you. Absolutely, they have noticed you. But I feel like this person is quite controlled. They are not somebody that lets their emotions run away with them. They don't get swept up by their emotions. They're very kind of 
They're very controlled in themselves in that way. And they can only focus on one really big thing at a time. And it's like they're not going to let anyone deter them from what they're doing at all. They're just going to stay focused. They're not going to let anything or anyone sway them. So I just want to get one final clarity on this, please. Are they interested in you? Yes or no? Okay, so we have the world upside down. <laughs> yeah, so my feeling on this is that they they can't show interest in you. And it's like they refuse to be interested in you because they know that you would turn their world upside down. They do see your potential. And this is me being totally honest here. And this is what I see. This isn't me trying to fluff anything because I just sense that this person sees how amazing you are, sees how passionate you are and how amazing you would be to have in your in their life but they know almost like like they'd have to turn their world upside down to have you in it there's something in them and that might not be true you might be thinking no no I would just slot into their life so easily but you may think that but this person doesn't this person doesn't think that they don't feel like that would be the case and it's like they're not ready and I just get the sense they're not ready for a commitment being honest with you here again this can change this can change this is a timeless reading this is the current energy but right now they're not ready they're not ready to open up and move on with you okay so we do have moving <laughs> so maybe they are moving they could be relocating that could be something that they're going through that's pretty revolutionary for them you know they could be moving to somewhere, again, kind of unconventional, maybe moving towns or cities or even countries or moving to an area they're not familiar with. Get ready. Okay. But either or they're making movements in their humanitarian efforts or their career. There's something where they are making some movements here. Okay, then we have the third house, which is the third astrological house ruled by the sign of Mercury, who does rule the... Um, Gemini and Virgo, so it could be a Gemini or a Virgo there as well, so we have almost there. So with that third house energy, I do feel like this person maybe lives quite close, either they live in your hometown, or it would be kind of a short distance to meet this person, or they may be moving closer to you. Yeah, that's how I, I'm feeling, like if this person does live very close to you already, this person is going to be, I feel, moving further away, but vice versa, I feel like if this person doesn't live on your doorstep, I feel like they're going to actually be moving closer to you because the third house represents short distances. So short distance travel it can also be siblings. So maybe you met through siblings. It can mean neighbours as well. It's almost like those little daily trips, the trips to the shops to do the school run, you know, to go to the gym, whatever those things might be, those little trips. Maybe you meet this person you know, as you're driving or when you're going on one of these monotonous, boring trips, maybe to the supermarket or something, and you end up meeting them there. <laughs> There's something strange coming through there about that. Yeah. Um, but the fact that we have like moving, get ready, almost there. Yeah. It's like, this is going to transform in one way or the other. Uh, like I said, at the moment, they, they can't give you anything. But in the future, they may be able to, especially if they do end up moving closer to you. And that could be a really positive sign, okay, because they're almost there. So I feel with get ready, <laughs> you may need to be ready for when this person comes in because I do feel like this is a real core shaker type of relationship. You know, so coming back to the question, are they interested in you? I would say there's a level of interest in them, but they're not going to take any action. They're not taking any action right now towards you because they've got lots of other things going on. So that is the energy that I'm picking up for this person. Let me know down in the comments below if this does resonate. And please feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this today. And you can always go and watch any of my other pick a card readings if you want more clarity on this person in this situation and what's coming in the future. Okay, so take care everyone.